Hi guys. Well, <laughs> I uh, I ended up with this light blue slash across here after all, or actually it's sort of a pale green. Um, I painted it in light initially, this this band, and I didn't like the way it looked. So I removed it, and then I went with a lower value, more of the blues along here, and that wasn't enough either. So then I said that I would place strategically a few highlights here and there on the water, which I did. And no, I still, you know, went back to the, to to uh, laying over some some lighter paint over the dark stuff. But the effect that had laying the, the lighter paint over the darker paint had was more pleasing than just throwing the lighter paint in to begin with, because now you have a bit of a dappled look. I had put I had painted it in a little bit darker, and then the paint set uh, started to get a bit of a skin on it. So. Um, you get a little bit of a messy knife stroke in here, which gives the top of the water a bit of a dappled effect, uh, which I like. It worked quite well. I may still bring in um, maybe just a, a, slash, a slash of light here and there. I'm not sure. Probably not much. Um, I'm very happy. I think it's been very effective to join these two masses together. And also, um, I lightened this some more. I went even higher value in these rocks in behind. That's worked. Uh, boo, boo, boo. This group of trees, as you can see, I'm still fiddling with. I, you know, in my initial sketch, I think I had the top cut off this one, and I went back to that. I really don't like these trunks leaving the painting on 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 a such a panoramic wrap around style canvas. You know, then they really want to have a frame when you have trunks flying off the, off the canvas like that. Unless your whole painting is trunks flying off the canvas. Um, so we're going to play with those. I had, a, I had a part of this tree coming up in this direction. You know, like an old tree that had grown adjacent to this one and, and a shoot of it was still there. But, and I did not have this branch on there earlier. So what I ended up seeing what was kind of bothering me eventually was I had this line going here and you know I had this supporting this I did not have much paint in here at all I think at the time so um, yeah it bisected the painting it, it, I didn't like the look of it it was you know it was a perceived line an indicated line you know this is a direct line but when you have something here that lines up with this point and this point and up here, yeah, you're you're somewhere in the the, the mind's eye, the psychology of, of uh, viewing these things. Your brain tells you, oh, there's a bit of a line there, and I'm not too comfortable with it. So I cut back into the street, made this trunk go back like this, so it opposes this hill. I think that works. Happy with that. I still have this 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 kind of rocky structure exploding a little bit you know, from this point outwards, which is okay. This kind of bothers, you know what, I'm actually just going to do something about that right now. This one line shoots up like this and it lines up almost perfectly with this rock. So we're back to a little too much indicated line there. I think I'd like to I think I'd just like to get rid of that. Now I'm laying this knife work over some dry paint, but I'm not too worried about it. It's going to happen sooner or later. Yeah, like that better. So, what's left? Maybe a touch or two in the water. Very little. I don't want to draw more attention down at the bottom. This is quite supportive now. If I do something like that, it'll only serve to break up this band by not actually physically throwing dark paint into the band, but introducing some of these values down lower. Maybe one spot. Maybe none. I don't know. 
Well, what's left is I, I decided to make this into a bit of a cave, or rather an undercut. Uh, and so this is going to be quite dark in here. Be a good spot to sit if you had a rain shower coming. And obviously, you know, a little bit of work on these rocks. They still need to be groomed a little bit. Um, this this this, t this tail of rock seems to be floating a little bit. I need to make that feel anchored, uh, anchored onto this hillside. I may just get rid of this completely. It's just washed in. Um, we'll see. And yeah, play with these trees. I may still, I may cut right across this trunk. I'm not sure, but really what is left is, is just some drips and drabs. We're almost there. Uh, next time I show you the painting, I'll be showing you a finished painting and I'll, as I usually do, uh, we'll go through the colors together uh, as I scan the painting. That's all I got for now though. Have a good day. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.